<laughs> What's up guys, welcome to Graphic Designer Pro. In this video we'll be looking at the paintbrush tool in Adobe Illustrator and if you want to follow along then you can download a free template file for this lesson from the description below. Ok, I'll pass you over to our lead designer Rory who will show you how it works. Thanks Ross. So jumping straight into our template file, we have some designs already set up here that we are going to recreate with the help of the paintbrush tool. So it can be found over on the left hand side and the keyboard shortcut is B and I'm just going to simply click on this to select it. Now I'm just using a mouse for the time being. So we can start using this by simply clicking and dragging on our artboard to create a path and at the moment I have smoothing applied to this. So this works in a very similar way to the pencil tool. So if I double click on the tool itself we get our pop-up where we can change the fidelity of these paths. So I could go to the accurate side, click OK and I'm going to get a much rougher path based on the movements of my mouse. Where the paintbrush tool can differ though is that we can actually set some parameters to our stroke before we start creating it. So I can go up to my control panel here. If you don't have this set up you can go to window and control and you can also also access this over on the properties panel again you can go to windows and properties if you don't have that so what I can do here is drop this option down that is our brush definition and we have a few default options within here I'm going to just start by simply selecting one of these options at the top that's going to give us a flat brush to work with from the off I'm also going to bump the stroke weight up to about five point and we'll select a color as well I'll just go for a bright orange in this example I'll double click on the tool again and make sure that I'm using my smoothest option under fidelity as this really helps when using a mouse. I'm going to go ahead and click OK and I can start clicking and dragging another path and you can see this is giving us a preview of the style of the path that we're creating here and it's doing a nice job of smoothing this as well. Now with my selection tool I can simply select this path again and I can always go back up to my brush definition and change this to something else. So we have quite a few options by default within here. Here. So we have things like this rough line and up in the top right there's a small menu. If I click this we can go down to open brush library and we have a few more libraries of preset brushes within here. So for this example I'm just going to go into artistic and we have artistic watercolor here and that's going to open up a separate panel here. So I'll select one of these. Again I can adjust things like the color and with my paintbrush tool selected I can simply click and drag to create a new path now with this watercolor brush applies to it. Now where the paintbrush tool can be very useful is if you use it with a graphics tablet. So I'm just going to go back up to my brush definition options and down at the bottom here we have a plus icon. So I'm going to add a new brush. I'm just going to leave this as a calligraphic brush for now. Click OK. And the only thing I'm going to change here is down at the bottom where we have size. I'm going to change this to pressure and I'm going to up the variation to nine point. And all this means is that this is going to take into account Count the pressure I apply with my graphics tablet. So pressing B on the keyboard, if I now start drawing out a new path, if I put more pressure down on the tablet, it's going to thicken the line and vice versa. If I apply less pressure, it's going to create a thinner line. So this is also very useful and it's a great way to use this tool with Illustrator. But that's it for an overview of the paintbrush tool. If you want to learn more about graphic design, we've created a free one hour training where you'll discover the top five secrets of successful design designers, which saves you the hassle of having to figure it all out for yourself. We'll be showing you how to immerse yourself in the sector you're designing for, creative thinking and how to spark creativity, what good composition is and how you can achieve it in your designs, how to pick the right colours for your designs and how to pick the right typefaces for your projects. So if you are serious about levelling up your design skills, then make sure to sign up for the next free webinar. Space is limited and these events always fill up fast because they're significantly better than the information others charge you for. And ours is free. The link is in the description, you're not going to want to miss it. I'll see you there.